Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? Well, today is Vlogtober uh, 25, day 25. And so anyway, I want to get up here and share with you guys what I made before the storms get here. I'm going to have to do my uh, chores a little earlier because usually the time that I normally do it, supposedly we're going to be getting all this bad stuff, which I hope they're wrong, but I'm not going to take a chance. <laughs> So I'm going to get out here and, and do everything and not be in the, the uh, lightning and stuff. Anyhow, the one that I'm wanting to share with you guys today, it worked up really quick and it was a lot of fun to make. Really easy too. And it is by, let me see if I can get her name right, Sonia Blackstone. And it is free on her blog, which I believe the name of her blog is called uh, Blackstone Designs. I didn't write anything down, so. But anyway, it's called the black cat bowl and here it is <laughs> i think it turned out really cute got its little tail there might be kind of hard to see the sun's not out today so and the wind's blowing pretty good so hopefully you'll be able to hear me but i just think it's so cute and actually it kind of looks like a rabbit <laughs> you can make a rabbit out of it i guess but anyway um i used the blanket yarn um Burnett blanket yarn and it's a bulky six and it called to use a size six and a half millimeter hook but I only have like a six I thought I had a six and a half like in Boyd or oh the Susan Bates but I don't so I guess I need to break down and get me some that are a little bit bigger because I need them <laughs> every time I I don't think about it after I'm done and then when I go to make a project that's calling for the bigger hooks I don't have them so but anyhow, I just need to get on the ball and get me some. But anyway, I just think it's the cutest thing. It's got a little safety nose. And then I put the green safety eyes in there. And you, you can actually unfold it if you want it to stand up a little bit more. But in pattern, she has you to fold it down. Like I said, I have tons of it left. So you can make several of these if you wanted to. But I just think it's so cute. Cute little kitty cat. <laughs> or a rabbit if you wanted to. Like I said, you can make the ears longer and kind of let them hang down on the side. And that'd make a cute little, um, you know, put your pom-pom back here and make a cute little rabbit basket. <laughs> but it's so cute. And I still got, I still need to sew in my tail there. I hadn't done that yet. But I'm planning on just setting it on my um, cart probably and just put like my hooks whenever I'm working on something or, you know, whatever, if I got a ball that I'm just a single ball, I could use it as a, a yarn bowl too, I guess. Or you can also put it on your counter and put some candy in it. Super cute. Like I said, easy to make. And I'll put a link down below if you guys would like to go and uh, make you one too. All right. Well, that's what I have to share with you guys today. A little kitty bowl. So anyhow, I guess I'm going to hop off of here and get busy and do my chores and i hope you guys all have a wonderful blessed uh, day and i'll see you tomorrow on vlogtober day 26. hi guys it's angelia how's everybody doing today today is vlogtober day 25. i think on my last video i said it was vlogtober day 25. so i me i got messed up got a little confused i guess you can say but anyhow i'm making a video today to share with you guys what i made and as always, I got to tell you about the weather. <laughs> it is very beautiful here today, and it's actually making my phone go in and out on the colors and stuff. So anyway, it, it, it actually makes it look like it's foggy, too, because <laughs> the way the sun's behind the trees and then it's coming out, at least to my glasses, it does. I, I dropped my glasses the other day, and I chipped them. I hadn't even had them for very long, and I've already chipped them. It's kind of like getting a new phone. You don't have it very, for very long, and then you drop it, and you shatter the front of it, and that happened with this phone here. <laughs> and I've even got a, a real nice uh, case around it, but I, every time it lands on the ground, it lands face first down and hits a, a, a gravel. <laughs> hits a rock. So anyway, yep, it's beautiful here today, and we did get the storms last night, but they weren't as uh, bad as what they you know we're saying so i'm very uh, thankful for that but anyhow to what i made now today was one that i 
Let me see if I can slide it over here. It was one that I found in this book right here. And this is a Spectacular Crochet, and it's one of uh, Annie's books. And um, I bought this uh, offline from Annie's, and I don't have an affiliated link with Annie's or anything like that. But anyhow, um, I, I bought it because, mostly because of the blanket and this right here, these little mug rugs. And of course, some of you already know, it's been watching me for a little while here, um, you know, I've already got this started. And then I've been dragging my feet on it and probably end up doing it like I did that sunflower blanket started and then won't finish it till months later. <laughs> but I'm planning on picking it up and trying to get it finished. I just kind of lost steam on it, I guess you could say. But anyhow, this has got the cutest patterns in it. And then I was wanting to make these here. Of course, I haven't gotten around to it. <laughs> That's a cute uh, blanket right there, too. It's got a lot of cute patterns in there okay now the one that I decided to make this time let's see if I find it I thought I had it oh I do <laughs> that's where the paper said <laughs> it's called the spooktacular mug rugs and this is part of the reasons why I got the book because of these right here. And I couldn't make up my mind which one I wanted to make first. And so I went with the one that you guys know, which I'm a cat person too. So but anyway, I went with Frankenstein. <laughs> it comes with the Frankenstein, the pumpkin, and the kitty cat. Now this one's going to be my next one. And so, but I went ahead and made Frankenstein. And let me show them to you. And this pattern is by a designer named Deborah Arch. Okay. And here it is. <laughs> I think it turned out so cute. And uh, I started on it, I believe, in the car the other day when we were going uh, out of town. And so, no, I think I started that night and then I worked on the green part while I was in the car. But anyhow, um, I think it turned out really cute. And... Uh, and it's going to be a lot of fun to use it. This one's going to be mine. <laughs> and so, uh, since I'm a Frankenstein uh, supporter there, <laughs> I guess you could say, since I love Frankenstein, this one's going to be mine. So, I'm working on something else for hubby. But uh, I just think it's so cute. So, I can't wait to get to use it. Now, I used um, all of its uh, cotton. Hobby Lobby, I love this cotton. Orange and black. And then this is, I looked right before I came out, what was it? Citrus, citrus lime, I believe. And then, of course, the orange again. And this is curry. And, yeah, I believe that's it. But it worked up really good and, you know, really fast. And and uh, didn't take long at all. Now, I used a, oh, what did it call? I believe a four. I did use what the pattern said to use. And it called for a, no, I did not because it calls for a 2.75 and I don't think I have one. If I do, I didn't use it. I think I used a 3.25 because <laughs> it really would have made it a lot smaller, I guess, using the 2.2 or 2.75. So I did use a 3.2. It's just sometimes I do follow what the pattern says to use and then the biggest part of the time I use a 3.2. I was getting confused with something else that I've been working on. That's what it is. But anyhow, uh, I can't wait to use it. And so I'm going to use it now that I've showed you guys. And not that many more days left in October for Halloween. So anyhow, that's what I wanted to show you. And yeah, this book's got a lot of, of cute patterns in it. Uh, this is another one. See if I, I think I've showed it before. Lost my paper. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, that's just the materials down there. Yeah. Look at this one, the little candy corn cat. <laughs> uh, that was another one I wanted to make, but I never got around to it. So, just some fun ones that I can think about doing for next year. Because I'd like to make all of them out of here. These are cute. If I can show you without 
jack jack o' lantern can't say that sometimes jack o' lantern <laughs> coasters super cute there's somebody in the background cutting firewood i guess oh these are cute these little appliques i didn't even realize those were in there look how cute halloween towel set you just buy you a towel and then you make those appliques and sew them on there that's pretty cool i like that but anyway that's just a few things in there that they have in the book this little mummy one is cute too that was another one i never got around to so hopefully lord willing I'll be able to get around to it next year. And then they got some really cute pot holders in here. Monster Mash pot holder. And it is. Those are just the supplies that you need on that side there. Frankenstein. Super cute. And then there's another one. Scary jackpot holder. <laughs> You don't look too scary. <laughs> anyway, that's a few of them in there. But anyhow, I guess I'm going to hop off of here and and uh, go work on something else. It's getting later in the day. It's sun starting to go down a lot quicker now. And so, you know, how it is that time of year when it's later in the fall and later in the year and it gets darker sooner and all that. Then, yeah. That's how it goes. But anyway, I guess I'll hop off. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed day. And I will see you tomorrow on Vlogtober Day 26. I think that's right. <laughs> anyway, I'll chat at you guys soon. Hi, guys. It's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? Well, today is, I believe, Vlogtober Day 27. But I have messed up so much here on saying what day it is. I really don't know. <laughs> so, But I think it's number 27. I didn't do one. Uh, yesterday because um, hubby was off and we ended up going to uh, one of our very favorite antique stores I had seen where it was open so we spent the day doing that but today I have one that I made up uh, the day before and uh, and want to share with you guys and I had um, hopefully before I get started as I always say you'll be able to hear me it is super windy here today and we're supposed to get like uh, over 40 mile an hour wind gusts. We got a front coming through, so lots of rain too. So I thought I'd try to beat the rain with uh, with doing my video, and and hopefully my neighbor's dog will cooperate. He has had a lot to say today. <laughs> he's just been barking nonstop, but he's been quiet here in the last 10 minutes. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but anyhow, I showed this one the other day of the Frankenstein. Now I made this one for me. <laughs> And um, I had talked about making the uh, the cat one. And so then after I got to thinking, I thought, well, I'll eventually make the cat one. But I really wasn't in the mood to make it right now. Because sometimes, as you know, I've mentioned how when I make something, I, I kind of like to wait a while before I make the same thing again. Which it would be a cat instead of the Frankenstein. But it was basically the same style and everything. But I wanted to do a little different. And so sometimes whenever it comes to decorating and stuff, I like to just kind of mix it up instead of having just the same old theme or whatever. And so this one I decided just to design myself. Let me see if I can fix it up here. It's got a few pieces of fuzz and probably kitty hair. Uh, I, did, I did it myself and it is a spider. Now this is a, this, you know, the mug rug. But I thought it would look super cute to go with the Frankenstein. So that's what I chose to do. And this one's going to be for hubby. <laughs> and I um, just designed it myself. And it was really easy. I just started off with the, the magic ring. If you don't know how to do the magic ring, you know, you can chain so many and then slip stitch back into the first uh, stitch. And then crochet into it. Which I started off with six. And then I just increased all the way up to ten rounds, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, it looks like 12. And then I did single crochet all the way around. And then I I probably did single crochet, if I remember right, to right here. And then what I did was, to make the head, I turned it and just started working single crochets in a row right here. Which I believe there was 12.
looks like there might have been a 10. Yeah, 10. Anyhow, and then I would just uh, turn it every time to get the shape of the head to come out. I did like two, two rows of single crochet, and then I started decreasing. Every time I turned, I would decrease to where I'd get the shape of the head. You just have to... I'll turn it around. You'll just have to play around with it to try to get the shape of the head the way you like it. Like I said, I just came up with this at the top of my head. As I was going around doing the single crochet, that's whenever I made the legs. I just went down so many stitches, chained like, I believe it was uh, 14, and then just slip stitched back into it, and then slip stitched two stitches out and did the other leg and did the same thing all the way down to give it four legs on each side. And then just did the same on the other side. And then on the eyes, I just did the uh, six single crochet and, you know, did it like that. And then for the pupils, I did buttons. I hot glued it on. Uh, yeah, I even hot glued the uh, white part on too instead of wanting to stitch it all up. So that's what he looks like. I think it turned out really cute. And it is 100% cotton. And it is a, a Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton in black and white. So, I think, like I said, I think they look cute together. And they do, laying there on the island beside each other. And like I said, I like mixing things up and not keeping it all, you know, sometimes the same. But anyhow, um, I do have a few other things that I'm wanting to share with you guys. What uh, I ran across yesterday and what I... Uh, was able to pick up i am so beyond excitement on it i can't wait to share it with you guys i might what i'm planning on doing is just ending this video and then i'll just do another video right after this on the same day to share with you guys what i found and so like i said it's super excited and i can't wait to show you but anyway i'm gonna hop off of here and i'll be coming right back up here real soon okay it's still vlogtober day 27 i believe <laughs> It's still the same day I shared the uh, spider, um, what do you call it, mug rug that I shared with you guys a while ago. Anyhow, uh, I want to get up here and share with you guys what me and hubby found at our favorite antique store. Now, I, as I had mentioned, I got up there and found out that they were open. And so, actually that night I went in when I went to bed, I woke hubby up and told him. <laughs> I was so excited. And so, we decided the next day to go and visit and so i do i absolutely love going to this antique store it's more, it's our favorite and it's not just because of the things that we find there it's the people that run it are so sweet and it's like we've known each other for for a very long time and so i love that you know they're real good friendly nice they just feel like you know friends that we've had forever and so anyway i just want to share with you guys what i found that as i've mentioned before um some of the memories I had of Halloween growing up, there was one that I can remember whenever I was a kid back then. I don't know if they do it now or not in school, but uh, back then I remember we would get uh, coloring sheets around Halloween, you know, or Christmas or whatever. And I can remember getting them and the ones that always stuck out in my mind were the ones of like the cat and the pumpkin and the moon. Well, um, as you know, I don't know, I don't think I did it during Vlogtober this month, but I think last month I shared the black cat that I made, the pattern from uh, Olive of Stringy Ding Ding, and then I made a uh, moon, half moon, that she came out with. And I have yet to make a big pumpkin. I need to make one, and she's got a cute pattern, as uh, Olive does, that it's, you know how you make the funny faces on them whenever you carve one out, and she's got one like that, and I need to make that. I probably won't get around to it right now, but I will be making it. But anyhow, those, uh, the things that I found reminded me so much of all that. And like I said, I remember whenever we'd go trick-or-treating, we would go to uh, our grandmother's house and go around the neighborhood there. Because where I lived at before, we were the only house at the end of the road. And we were out in the country. We, you know. And so, anyhow, um, we'd go there to our grandmother's and uh, we would just take off me and my brothers and you know all the houses around were always decked out in Halloween and matter of fact I was uh, talking to um, the people that owned the uh, antique store about one of them I was mentioning how I just 
I have not seen very many Halloween decorations out and about. You know, I've we've been to town a couple of times at night, and you know, you just I haven't seen them around here all lit up. Now I'm sure, like in you know bigger towns, there might be some being displayed and all that, but I just hadn't seen it around here. And but growing up, we seen it all over the place, <laughs> and so anyhow. But at Christmas time here, it is big time, and you guys know Christmas is uh, my favorite. I do. I absolutely my all-time favorite and so anyhow um the, the what i found brought back memories because i can remember seeing this whenever i was a kid i just there's two of them but i can't remember exactly which one it is but let me say this it does involve a cat and a pumpkin <laughs> but anyway when we went yesterday i knew they had some uh, blow molds hanging in a window and so I went straight over to where they were at and I looked at them and I almost, I thought I really do want them, but I just didn't know where I was going to hang them because in my house, you know, and I've got these cats and I thought they'd just probably mess with it and all that. So I thought, well, I don't know, maybe I should and just save them and put them somewhere where they can't get to them, but I don't know. Anyway, so I asked her, I said, you know, you have any other Halloween decorations which i had seen previously that they had a bunch of them but they sold a bunch and they actually had a frankenstein a big frankenstein and you guys know how i love frankenstein he is my favorite and so but they sold it and so maybe one of these days i'll run across the frankenstein one but anyhow she pointed to where they were at and oh my goodness on the top shelf there it was and i remember them having it um Maybe it was last year, because I really didn't get into doing all the Halloween stuff until this year. But I remember them having this last year, and I thought, I hope they still have it, because it's the one I think that I can remember from back in the day when I was a little kid. It's just there's two of them, and I can't remember exactly which one. But anyway, there they were on top, on the top shelf, and of course, I was super excited about it. And as I went back there there was all kinds of other Halloween things around there and brought back so many memories. I remember later on, and I believe it was like in the 90s, I can remember at a yard sale finding those ones that look, they're called popcorn. Because I asked her what they're called and I, when I look at it, always it looks like someone had took uh, crayons and shredded it and melted it onto something and made it flat and then there was their, their designs. And so they had several of these hanging up around there. And, but anyway, they had those and they had the big um, pumpkin blow molds and they have a witch. Oh my gosh, that witch, she is big and I'd love to have it, but I don't know, hubby might. <laughs> I don't know what he'd say. It, you know, I did some damage yesterday, but <laughs> we'll see. But anyhow. I'm going to share with you what I found. I was super excited. There was another lady there in the booth that was actually looking at them, and she had commented, you know, about how she had some in her attic. And so, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got. up. I'm, like I said, I'm super excited about it, and I'm actually, what I'm going to do when I get through showing them here, I'm going to take you back into the house, and I'm going to show you them all lit up. So, now this is the first one that I grabbed, because I'm thinking this is the one I can remember seeing whenever I was a kid, and here it is. <laughs> the pumpkin and the kitty cat. And on the bottom, it says trick. Oh no, on the back, it says treat. Now this one, it is faded up at the top because I'm sure it was sitting in a window somewhere or sitting outside, you know, a lot of times that people will sit those outside. I'm, I'm one of those ones, I can't, I can't bring myself to put them outside, even though you can tell like the one I shared last year during, um, vlogmas it was the angel and you can definitely tell she had been outside but hubby bought me that one last year from the same uh store and i matter of fact that's where i've gotten all my blow modes from them and i just never put her outside i can't do it <laughs> but anyhow i just absolutely love this blow mold i mean it just yeah i love it and so i don't think we really come up with a date on what year we think this one is so it's getting cold here guys <laughs> i might have to go inside and finish this it is getting colder but anyway i looked it up earlier before i came out and i seen one where somebody was saying in the 60s 
So it could possibly be this one, the one I remember. I'm not sure. All I know is there was a pumpkin and a cat in it. And I'm wanting to say it is this one because I can just, it was black. And so I absolutely love this. Now, the one thing that she had told me when we were there, she said, you could actually probably change the bulb in this to orange and that will really make that, you know, stand back out. And so we got the back off finally because it was, it was stuck in there. And um, anyway, we got, her husband got the back off and then they put the orange bulb in there and I plugged it in last night and it does, it looks brand new sitting there. <laughs> so I'm really excited about that. So if you guys have got some of these, and it's faded like that and you can find an orange bulb it works and uh, and if any of you guys have one that looks like this and you know exactly the year oh that would be awesome if you could tell me because i'd really like to know okay so this is the first one that i got now as you know i i mean i couldn't leave there without getting my uh, family one of them <laughs> she's like me she loves this stuff growing up she didn't care for the antiques but now she loves it so anyway so they had another one there and of course i took a screenshot of all of it and i sent it to her i was going to surprise her but i thought well i want to be able to get her the one that she really really likes which she's like me she likes it all and so here is the other one that i found <laughs> now this since they looked up and they and i seen it earlier too i think it was 72 is when maybe this one came out it's got like a little sticker thing here, but it don't say anything I don't believe about the year. But this one, it still holds the color real well on it. And it is super cute, lit up too. <laughs> and it's got the little kitty cat. You might hear some noise in the background. Hubby's in the shop sawing, so it sounded like somebody screaming. <laughs> but anyhow, um, I just love this. And so I took a screenshot of all of them, and she was torn between this one and there was another one it was a um, pumpkin a witch and a cat but then she decided she wanted this one so but it, that was the one i couldn't decide if it was this one i seen as a kid or the other one but i'm actually thinking it's the other one this is the other one that i got well as i was walking up to the front and hubby was getting them for me i kept thinking about this other one just kept on and on and, and finally you know she had mentioned don't forget we got that way <laughs> And I was like, oh, yeah, because I put some of it on layaway last year that I got that I showed y'all during Vlogmas. And so I said, I looked at my hubby and I said, I'll be back. <laughs> so I disappeared for a while and I went back and I picked up actually four more different things. Now, three of them. Was it three? That's sad now. I can't remember. I think three of them. Yeah, three are uh, Christmas ones. I think there was three more. Now, that's pretty bad whenever you, you get you know and you can't remember oh well i'll figure it out there's others that i i'm not going to show you because they're i got them on layaway and plus they're christmas and i want to share them during that time they are three now that i remember anyhow um but i did get another halloween one and i went ahead and i got it i i paid for this one myself <laughs> and uh yeah oh i'm so excited but i couldn't believe it i kept thinking about it i thought that one is so cute so i was torn you know i just thought i can't leave it there if i had the money i would i would have got all of them but no actually there was two of the other one of the cat that's not all black i think there was another one so anyway i ended up getting this one <laughs> now this one was marked i think it said empire is it Empire Empire? Empire, I think. Uh, 69. Yep, says it right there on the back. I don't know if you can see it. 1969. And so I grabbed this one. And I just think he is so cute. A little pumpkin on top of a haystack. <laughs> and he is, he is so cute all lit up. So I walked out of there with three glow molds. And I, oh my goodness, so excited. And I was so glad they still had that one. I, I am, I'm beyond, I am beyond excited about these. I love them. So, brings back so many memories. And I love these things. I would have never known, you know, knew growing up that when I got to the age that I am that I would be on the hunt for blow molds. <laughs> like I said, I can remember seeing them whenever I was a kid because my grandma had a Santa one. 
and I ended up finding one that wasn't exactly like hers, but it was the ta they call these tabletops, which I didn't realize that till yesterday. They're tabletop ones, and that's great because that works out good good for me. Which the big ones are okay too, though, because I've got a few of them. But anyhow, I'm happy. I am tickled pink. <laughs> But anyway, I guess I'm going to hop off here and I'm going to go in the house with these and I'm going to share with you guys what they look like all lit up. So, I'll be back again. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I'm sure there's a glare on my glasses from the <laughs> light out there and uh, it is a lot warmer in here. It was getting cold out there. But anyway, as you can see, there's a little bit of the orange here. I've got them plugged in. i got two of them plugged in. I'm going to have to pause you to put the other one in because the cord's a little shorter and my kitties are checking them out. <laughs> so it's a little dark in here. But anyway, I wanted to share with you guys what they look like all lit up. Now, this is the first one. The little uh, one on the haystack. Look how cool that looks. <laughs> it's really blowed out on there, but... Of course, you can see all the little crackles in it and everything, but that is what gives it, you know, it's vintage. So, I love that. Oh, it's so cute. And then this one is a kitty cat. Not the solid black one. Now, I was reading down here before I went, as I was carrying them in, it says a blinking light. So, maybe at one time this might have had a blinking light in it. I just don't know. But isn't that cute? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now, the one I'm going to share with you next is the one that they put the orange bulb in. And it does make a difference. So, you see how it's, these are all, you know, the way they are. And they're in good shape, you know, with the colors and everything like that. So, I'm going to pause you. <laughs> my cats are just there. Let's see if I can show you a picture. Look at him. He's like, what is this? <laughs> They are. There's something else. They're nosy. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to pause you for a minute and uh, plug the other one in. Okay, I'm back. I'm sitting in the dark now. <laughs> this is the last one. This is the one that I think is probably the one I seen whenever I was a kid. And look at that. The, it is absolutely faded up here. You know, I showed you earlier. And look at that. That orange bulb what it did. I mean, in person, you, it don't even look like it's faded. So, I just think it's the coolest thing. I absolutely love it. And so, yeah, I am. I'm so excited and I'm really excited to be able to share with you guys <laughs> what I found and everything. So, yep, can't wait to get them plugged back in and enjoy them. I had them plugged in last night and was enjoying them and stuff. And like I said, the cats are like, what is this? <laughs> but anyhow, I guess I want to hop off of here and Get busy and find something to do. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed uh, day. And I will see you tomorrow. And I really don't know what day it's going to be. I think it's the 20, I think it's the Vogtober Day 28. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, it's going to be another day, Lord willing. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed day. Hi, guys. It's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? Well, today is Vogtober Day 28, 29, and 30. And so, uh, I didn't get around to making one the last few days because, uh, uh, you know, I like coming outside and doing it. And today is the perfect day to make up for those uh, two days. <laughs> it had been raining, storming. Uh, wind was really bad on a couple of those days, like 35 to 40 mile an hour wind uh, gust. And when you got a cold front coming through, it really makes it uh, bone chilling. <laughs> so, anyway, I thought I'd get up here being that it's super pretty. My dog's down here. And... Uh, and share with you guys what I have made. Now, the first one I'm going to show you is is one that I shared with you guys, I believe, last year. And it is a uh, free pattern on their blog. And it is by, got the notes written down here. It's on a website called Thornsby Cottage. And it's called the Itty Bitty Kitty. And here it is. I decided to make mine like a pumpkin. <laughs> And I actually forgot I had it whenever I was in there uh, dusting. There it was up on the shelf up high. And I thought, well, I guess I could share that one with you guys if you wanted to make you one like this. And anyway, uh, I decided to do mine like a pumpkin. So I did it in orange. And this is mainstay orange. And this is that discontinued mainstay green that I'm about out of. Mainstay black. And on the back... 
Now I did this myself. This wasn't part of the pattern, but um, and I think I just made them up as I went. Now you can find a patterns, you know, patterns out there where they can show you how to make the leaves. And then this is its tail that I did in a, I believe, mainstay brown. And so it, I thought, well, that looks like the stem. And then I added the leaves. So <laughs> made him a cute little pumpkin kitty. And then the safety eyes. I don't know if I already said that, as you can see, <laughs> little cat eyes. And uh, yeah, so I think it's really cute. And I'll put a link down below in the description box for everything that I talk about here. If you guys want to go look and uh, make you some of it. And I used a three, probably a 3.5 hook then. Because now I use like a 3.2 to try to get my stitches a little tighter. But anyway, so cute. I think I made a bunch of, I don't know if I already said I made a bunch of black ones too last year. So... This one was for me. All right. Now, this next one, I have been uh, wanting to make more dishcloths because I don't have any that are like fall colors. And so I thought, you know, I need to get busy and make some because I actually need to uh, redo uh, a lot of mine. Like, I, mine are wore out, <laughs> basically, you know, from doing all the dishes and stuff between me and hubby. So I needed to uh, make me some fresh ones and I wanted to do some in fall colors. Now this one is a, a free pattern on her blog and it's by Sarah Sash. And she also has a video tutorial on it uh, too. So it is called the Turkey, um, turkey Washcloth Slash Potholder. <laughs> but I'm going to use it, use it as a dishcloth. I just think he's so cute. <laughs> Now, I used 100% um, cotton, the Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton. And it is in orange, red, curry, and the brown. And then I uh, gave him some little eyes there. I did the French knots. And then he's got his cute little beak in the little red thing there, which, what do you call that? I think there's a special name for it is what I was told, but I always call it the the waddle i guess <laughs> the red thing that hangs down on the side of his beak <laughs> but anyway and i don't know if i mentioned it but it was i used a five millimeter hook to make it it worked up really quick and easy and like i said super cute and you can you know you can use um make this and make you a um oh a placemat if you wanted to or just like she said decorations around the house you know, you can make it out of acrylic and use it for a placemat if you wanted to or decorations. But I use cotton for, uh, you know, the dishcloths and to make hot pads. And so, anyway, super cute. <laughs> but, okay, now that was the first uh, one that I made. Now, this next one is a uh, free pattern. And I found it on a website called Best Free Crochet. Yeah. And it is called the Autumn Mum Dishcloth. And here it is. Isn't that pretty? And speaking of mums, I've got like a whole bunch of them right now that are, are uh, blooming and stuff. They're so pretty. I've got like a mauve color and a yellow and white. That might be the only colors that I've got. If I can remember, I'll insert a picture of what they look like. But anyway, I love mums. But I wanted to do this one because I thought that would be pretty. And so it's in the 100% uh, cotton Hobby Lobby. And I uh, did it in orange and in brown and just alternate it. And you just do it, you know, cluster stitch. So 5 millimeter hook too is what I do believe I used for it. So it's pretty good size. Just the perfect size. I like that size there. So I've got me two now for, for fall. All right, so that's what I have to share with you guys for today. That's that was my my uh, my dog sneezing over here. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I have to share with you guys. What I've made for the last few days, except that one, I, like I said, I made it last year. I guess I'm gonna hop off of here. I gotta go. Uh, still take my my daily walk. I hadn't done that yet, and then I'm gonna um, do a few other things. I need to go around and pick up some limbs that got blown out of the tree from the wind and everything, and then do my chores and. I uh, already did my uh, did some cooking earlier. I made chili for tonight, so I thought that sounded uh, good. So that's what I'm going to be having. But anyway, I guess I'll hop off here, and tomorrow 
will be the last day in um, October. Tomorrow's October the 31st, so I got one more uh, thing to share with you guys, and I am so excited to show you guys. I mean, it's, I'm going to say it's probably the biggest amigurumi that I've made so far, <laughs> and it's big. <laughs> I actually, um, when I work on a lot of things, it's usually in the evening, and, uh, and I sit in my recliner, and so I worked on it as long as I could, but I eventually had to stand and uh, prop it up to be able to finish it because it got too big for me to do it and, you know, to work on it in the recliner. So it's pretty good size and I can't wait to show you guys. But anyway, I'm going to hop off of here and I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed day and I'll see you tomorrow on Vlogtober Day 31.